Okay, welcome back to your cable data science channel, Buckeye Nation. This is the evening of uh, October the 5th, 2021. It is time for your daily COVID-19 analysis. Before we get started, I have a favor to ask you folks tonight. If you click on the description below, you're going to see a link to my Twitter account. I would appreciate it if you click on that link and click the follow button. Follow me on Twitter tonight, okay? So anyway, let's come back up here and, and start this off again. So we also have to keep in mind a couple things about the COVID-19 deaths, particularly for the state of Ohio. Back in, in, in February 20, in the first quarter of this year, February 2021, the governor's office came out and said, oops, we undercounted COVID-19 deaths by approximately 4,000 in the fourth quarter of 2020. But you know what's interesting, the first thing that's interesting, they never seem to have a problem counting COVID-19 cases, even though there's a lot more cases than death. You seem to be able to keep keep those cases rolling right along, okay? And the other point is this, but rather than go back and fix in the number, the fourth quarter numbers, and reissue in the corrected numbers, the added and missing numbers on the February 11th, 12th, and 13th of, of this year, 2021. Which means that on a national level, the, the U.S. De uh, COVID-19 deaths are undercounted by a minimum of 4,000 for the fourth quarter 2020, and over overcounted by a minimum of 4,000 for 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 the first quarter of 2021. Interesting, huh? But anyway, let's, let's let's just start up here and start taking a look and see what's really going on. Okay. So. So this is the raw data here. Okay, this, this is our raw data. Uh, you can see the spike for the three months. You can see what, what, the, what the data before and after looks like. So what I do is I take this and I replace these three days with the average number of deaths for those three days, each one of those days, okay? And this is a much better fit. It doesn't fix the fourth quarter problem, but it does fix the... Uh, okay. So here's the here's the daily deaths. This is a this is a, a seven or fourteen day moving average. What we're, what we're interest. Remember the numbers are missing over here and they're added over here. Oh, I forgot to mention. Also, beginning in March for deaths deaths only, they, be, they begin only counting deaths five days a week. Okay, five days a week. Okay. The kicker is it's not always the same five days. So again, this, this, this is why we use moving averages and trend lines and stuff like that. So you can see back here in December, we had this, this long declining pattern for deaths in the central Ohio. In mid-July, the deaths begin to climb. So the question for these cases and deaths is, how many of these people were vaccinated over here? A few summer statistics, you've into that type of stuff. And these, and these are deaths by week, no real surprise, okay? Now this number here probably probably isn't probably could be like the, the days in which there wasn't any numbers recorded, so this this doesn't mean that the, the deaths have fallen down to zero. Okay, what about cases? Well, cases had again a long declining trend, and then in July once again cases began to increase. Okay. So how many of these people here this year were vaccinated? Summary statistics, uh, that's just deaths, another way to look at deaths, cases by week, nothing will surprise in there. Okay, okay, Buckeye Nation, that does conclude your report for today. Don't forget to, uh, don't forget to click that, that, that uh, link to Twitter in the description below and follow me on Twitter, okay? Thanks so much. We'll catch you tomorrow.